Hey guys, how's it going? I am back once again. Oh, this is the second time I've tried to record this now because I ran into some tech issues. Fraps was being a bitch, and it did not record my audio. It only recorded the game audio because I'm not good enough for it. It reset the audio settings for whatever reason, I don't know. And I beat the mission, which was fucking hard, by the way. It took me around 40 minutes, and then it was unusable. So I'm going to need to do mission select, which I wish I could just, just, just resume the game. But apparently I can't, because I got to the next goddamn mission. Oh, oh my god. And I apologize for not having a video up yesterday, but I've I've been really busy. Um, I did try to record this, but it is a very hard mission. Um, you'll see why. I, the, well, at least personally, I struggle with it. Um, it's not a very great mission. I'm not. I'm definitely not a big fan of it. Ugh. I'm tired. I'm frustrated right now, but I hope I can forget about it. We've got an awesome gun there. <laughs> Honey Badger, yeah. It's pretty cool how it, like, defends defends itself against stuff. Honey Badger's pretty awesome. But yeah, we gotta get some stuff done here. Hopefully, we will succeed without dying too many times. Exodus, Day 4. Private James Ramirez. Northeastern Virginia, USA. I've never been to Virginia. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, ow, ow, owie, owie, owie. Who is shooting me? Uh huh. Uh, you see, I've, I've died already. We know that this is going great. Shut up. I know it's Exodus. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hey, honey badger. How's it going? You're big and scary. We can be friends, right? That big and scary is a compliment. You're you're like a war machine. We gotta protect it, Honey Badger. We're 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 protecting you. We'd better be friends. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Anyway, we'll use the laser to shoot at the house. The thing is, the laser is really lazily designed. It's just. It doesn't even switch to another weapon or anything, it just points out at your gun. It should be like... What I think the laser should be, is it It should look like binoculars. Binoculars? What the hell? Binoculars. And I, I don't know how to pronounce it anymore, but and then you're looking through that, and there's a laser there. Holy crap, it's like... It sparks when I shoot it, sweet. Well, I guess it's electronics. I, I don't know. We'll just run through here. Pistol this guy. This looks like the Doom pistol when I... Oh my god. When I go prone like this, it's like aiming down the middle of the screen. It's just kind of like that. I don't want to aim down sights anymore just when I'm going prone with this. Oh, hang on. There's a UMP-45. Absolutely love this weapon. We can grab some ammo for it. Even just because, you know, ammo and stuff. What weapon do you have? No, I don't want it. I don't want that weapon. It's not It's not an amazing weapon. It's not really bad, per se. Exactly. Okay, it is pretty bad. <laughs> but, um, I'm not going to use it. Owie, I'm hurt. I want to wait until I'm better. I'm not feeling good, you guys. Move on without me. Okay, now I'm feeling better. Let's go! Okay, am I serious? Am I like the only person that thinks that the PC port of Call of Duty um, MW2 is better? I think it was also better. I think it was... Oh, Vector. I kind of want to show that off. Yeah, fuck you, Scar H. <laughs> I like the Vector. It's really good. It's got well, uh, probably my favorite reload animation in this game. In this game. Uh... Let's just show it off. Beautiful. Vector's also in Black Ops 2. I forgot what I was saying. I was saying something. <laughs> anyway, we'll just run through here, shoot these guys. Yeah, Vector is also in Black Ops 2. 
which I thought was pretty cool, seeing seeing good old friend again. Oh yeah, reload animations. I love the vector is probably number three, and I, I guess no, no, I guess two tied for um the fall is probably number three. Two and one, I think the ray gun Mark II from Zombies and the P99 from Modern Warfare 3 are tied. I there's so many that I love and I really could go through it forever, but I probably shouldn't. I love this sound that it makes. It sounds comical. Here, let me turn up my volume. It's kind of funny. Now my volume's off track. I think I got it about right. Okay. We gotta take out the sentry gun. You can just shoot it. It's not... It's, good. it's not got too much health. Let's see here. Oh, I'm way behind. There we go. Honestly, a few shots. You can take it out. Also, you can run up and knife the sentry gun. I recommend running and knifing it from behind, but you can do that. You can do that. I like just sniping it off like I did. You don't even really need to have sights for it. It's pretty easy to hit, as long as you kind of burst fire it. We got tar. I I, I use the tar too much, though. <laughs> I definitely use the tar too much. I'm going to try to make more of a variety. If I see the tar with Mars sight, though, I'm getting rid of this right away. Did he just shoot me with striker? Yeah. And now I just got shot with probably an AK-47. AKs and strikers are one of the more common weapons here. Also, the P90 is fairly common. I kind of want to use the P90. If I can find it, I'll definitely use it. Okay, we'll just wait here for a little while at least. Nice Corporal Dunn. I know someone whose last name is Dunn. There's also a murderer in Florida named Michael Dunn. Currently serving a life sentence, interestingly enough. Interesting, yeah, I mean, I actually have a friend whose last name is Dunn. And I, I know, like, a thousand other people named Michael. And then he's actually in Florida right now. It's kind of ironic. Kind of terrifying to some people. Nah, he's a good person. Anyway, we got someone over there. We can snipe him off from here. AK, of course. And we gotta follow through all this crazy stuff. Okay, I don't know how I thought of this right now, but I, I know, like, maybe five people named Michael who actually look almost exactly the same <laughs> all right anyway now we're going uh, across the bridge into the super rich people suburbs they they literally built a moat around them cuz they're the complete elite people of course they're separating the canter lot from ponyville I should make more My Little Pony references in my videos. That's that's kind of fun to say. <laughs> Question of the day, should I do that? Also, like... Oh man, I think when I was previously recording this, the question of that recording was, do you like the next-gen, like, consoles and games? Because honestly, I'm not a big fan yet. There's no... Not really been too many games that I've been super into from the current gen I well people are calling it next gen for whatever reason no it isn't it's current gen I like last gen I pl I'm playing a last gen game right now people think it's current gen and that the the current gen is next gen it's stupid but I don't think that there have really been too many great games coming out yet advanced warfare is arguably good I like exo zombies that's literally the only defining thing about it that I think is good that's that's its only only upside in my opinion 
It stole the armor abilities from Halo Reach. Literally, it's the exact copy. And Halo Reach is a great game. I mean, it was great. It was amazingly innovative. It wasn't super focused on the armor abilities, but I, Advanced Warfare was completely... Everyone thought that that was, you know, so amazing. No, it isn't. The campaign was longer and more original, which is good. Which is good. Again, it's not the worst, but I thought it was really stupid and I got really annoyed that everyone loves it. I kinda wanna go up to it and slap the person and say, have you ever played your ex your competitors for Xbox games? <laughs> Halo Reach and Call of Duty definitely have been competing for the love of Xbox ever since the 360. Damn it! Oh. I was killed by a grenade. Watch out for the grenade grenade danger indicator. All right, you know we're gonna grab the holographic because holographic is awesome. I don't have much ammo for it. That's okay though. It's all right. Holographic's a good sight. We'll just use it as much as we can here to snipe off the guys. By the time we get closer, it will have run out of ammo and then. Oh, jeez, that was good guy. Okay, we're gonna get back behind the fence here. We're not going to make the same mistake twice. Uh, we're just going to kind of shoot everywhere. There's... I'm going to get killed here, aren't I? Ow! Oh, and then another thing about the current gen. Uh, GTA 5 in first person. It's fun, it's really good, but I think it got kind of overrated. Okay, I am a big fan of the Grand Theft Auto series. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love GTA 5. I probably give GTA 5 about a 93 out of 100, but, um... First person mode, yeah, it's cool, but it's not... It's not as cool as I think a lot of people think it is. You know, people... Uh, Okay, GTA series videos, pretty good, pretty educational and stuff, but I don't know why they would need to do a first-person walkthrough of GTA 5. That is kind of overkill, in my opinion, and they also did the, the mobile, mobile version walkthroughs. I understand that they're trying to go for completion and whatever, but people, you know, GTA Online was a big freakout, and again, it's good, but I think it's not, not, it shouldn't be getting enough... It, it's getting people love it too much. It's gonna become a Call of Duty where thing people just play it online. It's stupid. All right, we'll just go prone here for a minute, and so I can keep ranting about the current gen. <laughs> anyway, okay, there we go. I was kind of hard to stand there. I was kind of sandwiched. Interestingly enough, okay, there's a lot of guys on the stairs. I do not think that those people got invited to this house. It's big and lovely. These people are, they're mean. I'm not coming in invited, but I'm I'm here to help get rid of other people, and then I will leave. I will leave. You know, actually, if you sneak up on these guys, sometimes there will be a guy who's grabbing a beer from the fridge. Well, I assume it's a beer, at least. I, I don't really know. No, he's probably, like, vodka. These are fancy people. Follow. It said I was supposed to follow the ground there for a minute. I don't like the ACOG site. ACOG sites are weird. What's down here? Oh, it's just a uh, garage. I've never gone down that way. Even though I generally try to explore stuff, this mission is so fast-paced and hard that I normally just try to go through it right away. But I'm not I'm not a really big fan of this mission. It's definitely not very amazing. Shoot. Run. I know I have no I have literally don't have any time to think. Okay. Oh. Well, all right. <sighs> okay. We'll reload. I, I kind of like how you run through the house and there's... Let's let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. How about... Boom! That's kind of a... I swim... I can't go... I can't go under the water. And I can't sprint in it, like, at all. Okay. So basically what we want to do with the laser pointer here is blow this shit up. Because they're not letting our guys get through. So we'll just... Right about there. Hopefully that will explode, and right now we can also blow up the other one. 
Cool. It got that one. Let's watch it get this one. It's got a massive explosive radius. That's just crazy. You can go explore the fields if you want. It's kind of time consuming, but pretty cool. You got like a nice little golf course. Again, very upper class place here. Cool. We gotta save someone important. Of course they're important. We got the epic futuristic planes there. Absolutely love it. There's a hell of a plane crash here. I mean, look at that. It's... It's insane. Look at all these sparks flying around. Can we go in here? Oh, it doesn't kill me. Yay. I wanna fly the plane. I wanna fly the plane. Can I fly the plane? No, I can't fly the plane. I, I guess it's completely destroyed. My uncle actually flies planes. It's pretty neat. We don't get to see him too much, though, because he's always around. Oh, he's dead. It looks like he he shot himself. Fuck. Let's get the re... I can't pick up the Desert Eagle. Why don't you let me pick up the Desert Eagle? I can't even shoot him. Looks like he had a game of chess with the Teddy Bear. The Teddy Bear Easter eggs. Damn you, Teddy Bears. By the way, there's also... um. Yeah, that was kind of it. But there's another Easter egg I found in Modern Warfare 2 by myself, and we'll get to it. If any of you guys know, it's the blow-up doll Easter egg, if you guys know that one. Pretty funny, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. By the way, I, I st I'm, I'm very sorry for not having a video up the other day. I hope this one, with me raging about new next-gen, this-gen, <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being annoying. See you guys next time.